When I help teams calculate the return on investment for their UX work, I often find that people are overthinking it. ROI can be really difficult to calculate, yes, but try to do only as much work as you need to do to help you make your argument. To illustrate this, I'll tell you about how one UX lead calculated predictive ROI to help him convince his agency's leadership to take a specific action. In his case, he was trying to convince them to build a design system. Design systems can take a lot of initial time and effort to create, but in the long run, they save designers and developers time. But the leadership team of this agency wasn't sure that the long-term savings would be worth the upfront costs. So the UX lead looked at how long it took the design and dev teams to build a single component, a video plugin, for a recent client project. He then multiplied that by the number of times that they had created a different version of that same element for different client projects over the past few years. So that's a very simple calculation, but he was able to show his leadership how much time was wasted on one single component. His argument was, imagine how much time we're wasting on all components. That argument, supported by a very simple ROI calculation, was enough to convince them. What I love about this case study is how little work the UX lead did to prove his point. He said it took him less than one hour to gather all necessary information and perform the calculation. Let's think about how much more work he could have done for this calculation. He could have performed these calculations for lots of other UI elements, not just video plugins, but also tables, breadcrumb trails, form fields, and so on. He could have tried to find out the average hourly pay for those design and dev teams and turn this time amount into a monetary amount. But none of that extra work was necessary for him to prove his point. He spent only as much time as he needed to help his leadership get an idea of the vast amounts of time that were being wasted. Learn from this case study by thinking carefully about your goals when calculating ROI for design work. Tailor your calculations to the audience that you're presenting to and what you're trying to demonstrate.